Good morning, traders. Stephen Davis, RJO Futures uh, here, uh, senior market strategist. Uh, happy Friday to everybody. Talked to you about the grain markets a little bit this morning. Corn markets up two, uh, soybean markets up four, the wheat markets up seven. Uh, uh, the attitude on corn is, has vastly improved here in the last 30, 40 days. The cycle lows are in, sure seems like it to us. And, and uh, <clears throat> you kind of in this area now where there's not a lot of new news. Demand is very, very good for our corn. Exports continue to be very good as illustrated yesterday. So uh, we certainly feel like the lows are in in corn and um, we'll hold these levels uh, going into the planting season. Oats, uh, all-time highs in the oats market this week. Uh, article in the Wall Street Journal, and certainly there's oats in Canada. We just can't get them down here into the U.S. Uh, where the processors need them. So uh, Lord Keynes taught us this, that the markets can remain far more irrational than we can remain solvent. So uh, <clears throat> gentlemen, do not trade oats. But Nonetheless, just want to mention all-time all record highs. Soybean markets uh, uh, continue. China buying U.S. soybeans, old crop soybeans yesterday uh, at 8.30 yesterday morning. We just came out of the gates just very, very strong. Traded higher, then reversed and traded lower. So um, soybeans, uh, I keep an eye on May soybeans. Uh, the high overnight was 14.05. Personally, I feel like they get above 14 and stay above there. There's news, the fundamentals here, that they could trade to $15. There's certainly no guarantees. I think what you're going to see happen next year is the Argentina farmer is going to go on strike, and the market's going to perceive this as the Argentina soybeans not getting on the world market. So um, <clears throat> November soybeans, 1182 was the 200-day moving average. So yesterday we got to like 1183, so got above there. And uh, there are some rains in Mato Grosso in Brazil. Uh, that's the biggest soybean growing area, and they're getting into harvest now. So these rains, uh, uh, you know, need to temper down. We need it to dry out so we can harvest. Um, is is uh, you know a good question is 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 meat going to re replace pork over in Asia and 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 the steak and the middle class of China and their demand for for protein and steak uh, more like our diet so very very interesting so this demand for soybeans is going to continue backing up to corn we do have some clients in Louisiana and they're gonna they're looking forward to planting corn next week so some of these parishes down south getting off to some early starting planting and this strength then soybeans is going to get these farmers down south to plant soybeans and then they can have the early harvest in, in August and the market's going to have a very strong appetite for that. So uh, it'll be fun to talk about. Next week will be March so we'll get into uh, the March 31st planting intentions. Just a gigantic report a few weeks down the road. Uh, the wheat market, you know, back in the fall wheat rallied to get the wheat, all the acres planted in the wheat and then we sold off a $1.50. Uh, and I think that's what can happen here in the corn and soybean. We'll get through this March 31st plantings report and get to get get into our planting season and uh, we get the crop in the ground, then we are vulnerable uh, to sell off. So uh, looking for next week, what can drive the market? Certainly the demand, keep an eye on these demand scenarios and look for news on soybean, positive news on soybeans and, and that they did, don't respond bullishly. Yesterday we had positive export news and we did respond bullishly. So keep an eye on that on the soybean market, bullish news and, and we don't go up. Maybe that's a catalyst here. Uh, and certainly the farmer, the U.S. farmer, the South American farmer, and what they do here. So uh, that's about it for today. Have a great day trading, and we'll talk to you next week. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.